Yeah, it was the inspiration of a place. Uh, it is difficult to say, especially when you so often hear, you feel like it is not existent. Usually when I go to New York, for example, I, I, I start realizing what Berlin means to me as a musician. Basically, it's just a quiet city compared to other big cities. Just because of the architecture and how the city is built, you have all these like quiet little pockets where you can just open the window in the city, play piano, and you hear some birds outside. And I think this is uh, quite a nice surrounding noise you have here. In New York, for example, it's so noisy and so loud and so hectic that I think my music would easily dissolve in the noise. like I was taken serious, you know, like the whole Block B takes musicians serious uh, to a degree where I don't think we will have another time in history where art and music will be taken so seriously. so worth it coming here because just the space and the facility is spectacular to say the least and uh, the studio I was offered um, is so charming and beautiful and uh, great that I didn't have a choice so to say. I had to grab the chance. studio in some big hip city. It is for quality, it is just for the sake of good tone, good music and nothing in this house uh, was intended to be PR in the sense we know PR. from my own discoveries that we know shit about music today and they knew everything. And so we have to kind of rediscover the secrets of good sound, good music, good composing, all that. 
is uh, crumbling and uh, this place can help us finding the traces where we lost them and pull them into our lives. Something like white noise, but more emotional white noise. A little bit of like a wow, awareness, a complete awareness, as much awareness as I, I can afford, and that makes me sweat. It's not the physical action which makes me sweat, it is just the concentration and the awareness. It's interesting that the brain seems to be a muscle which makes you sweat when you use it too much. Especially when I, when I feel like I'm not getting the moment, you know, I'm fighting to keep all the instruments and all the musical ideas to keep them together and to just shape them so they are there as I, as I want them to here. But a lot of times I just turning the knobs and I'm, I'm, I'm scanning, I'm scanning, something is different, something is not how I want it to be. These are the horrible moments where I just don't know what's going on. You feel like you're sinking into mud, you know, slowly, and then you, you, you fight yourself out of it. I think I'm, I'm really in danger in these moments, and the fear is real, and uh, even there is no real fear, it's imagined, but uh, in a way it is a real, a real fear, because what if I suck? What, what if nobody wants to hear it again? finished it, it destroys all the other possible albums which were in the making but then got destroyed by a definitive product. It is a more serious album because yeah I'm more of a serious musician I guess and I wanted to afford this time an album which where I had no stress and no rush and I had all the time I wanted because with all the other albums I never really felt like I had enough time and enough material to choose from to really please myself. Maybe it is my, my, my destiny to not really be satisfied by my own work. I think that is also what makes you keep working on it. Performing this album live was a great challenge in itself because I, I, I used a lot of guest musicians on the album so I play alone the show. So once the album was done I had to basically reinterpret it with all the different instruments like the choir, the trumpet, you know, cello, strings. All that is not here so I had to kind of rewrite the songs in order to make them fit for just a solo performance. The songs will always change on the tour during the concerts. Uh, in the sound check. There's always a new idea and I'm looking forward to the process of, of fine-tuning the songs. Like, 
spend all our time in our second digital life, we uh, won't really achieve anything great in the first, for me more important, physical life. And so uh, to counteract all the digital bullshit everybody is like getting into, I want to be the one who just says like, okay, but let's focus on the first world first. We all like live in a digital world which is not even free. But we could live in a real world which is not free, right? But it's at least real.